Hey guys, Solar here back in another review today. It's the two for Tuesday, the only two for Tuesday. More, more here. Oh well, I only gotta do this this year, next year. I gotta do Halloween gets two videos. Oh my god! So yeah, today we're looking at uh, Spider-Man Vampire Wars Blade, uh, Vampire Hunter. No shit. Um, he comes with a bunch of crap. Okay, he comes with this goofy thing. Which you can't actually remove some of the parts from, but... Uh, it does have a hinging piece also. And he also comes with this. Which you can, um... transform into a tripod thing, but what you do is push the button on the back and it shoots a little axe. It's pretty neat. It's got some power to it, too, and the axes look nice, but he can't freaking hold him, which sucks. I guess he can in that hand, but it's loose, and he holds it all the way up there. Um, but what you can do with this is you can remove those on the sides <clears throat> oh yeah on a side note we're on day seven right I think so There's that, and then you can actually clip it to his torso. And he's got this, which this looks okay. I'm down with that. But, I'd rather he just came with his weapons. So Blade himself is really nice. Um, for a 90's toy, really good. He's got a swivel in the head. Look at that. My mother is gone. <laughs> so, uh, that's what he sounded like in a Spider-Man cartoon. He's got a waist swivel, too, which is nice. Um, swivel in the shoulder, hinge in the elbow, the hips, and the knees. Some move, so. He's got quite a bit of articulation for a figure of his age. Um... I do like him, but uh, we're just going to clip his little uh, backpack back on him. <laughs> Redundancy. It's amazing. But uh, this figure is actually one of the rarer, if you believe that, 90s Spider-Man cartoon figures, you know, of course, with Venom and Carnage and stuff. This guy's around 20 bucks. Complete. I paid, like, 11 shipped for mine, so I got lucky. But, yeah, this is a nice figure. And if you like, you know, the Midnight Suns and stuff, this will work great with, like, the Ghost Rider figures. This is the Morbius, which I had, but sent it to T-Biz. Supposed to get another one, but I don't think that's happening. So... I kind of got screwed, but whatever. Um, I do have Morbius Unbound, but I'm missing his little bat friend at the moment. I'm getting that from somebody, though. But I gotta send them stuff, and they're gonna send me stuff. So, it's a trade. That's it's how it works. So, next year, I will do Morbius Unbound. I know that's stupid, just because he's missing the little dude, but I'm anal about that crap, so... Yeah, uh, Blade here, I'm going to give a, um, well, I'd give him a 12, too. I would have preferred a little bit different face sculpt, maybe not the open mouth, maybe just a snarly, well, a pissed off look. He's PO'd now, but a little bit too much. <laughs> and I would have preferred he came with a sword and his 
crossbow. He used a crossbow in the show. But Black Cat comes with a crossbow. Look at that. That's pretty stupid. But yeah, Blade here, pretty cool. So until next time, you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you later.